was a history of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Oh, okay. But with a big eye staring at you, I thought, ah, put that in this. Uh, this is a little half bathroom, no shower, no steam. Next thing you know, we built bookshelves. Now we have about three or four hundred <laughs> of these decorative style illustrated books in our bathroom. And people are a little taken aback. They come into the bathroom, but there's loads of reading material. But one of the rules of the collection is that nothing can be valuable because, of course, every once in a while a book falls off the shelf, and you can imagine where it ends up. The Bible is the most commonly printed book of all time. It always has been, probably always will be. Tell people if this is your sentimentally, it's priceless. But out of your family monetarily, it's not worth very much. Now, if you have these big old Victorian Bibles with the beautiful class in, you know, embossed leather, they can sell between one and three hundred dollars, uh, mainly because they make great gifts for ministers, priests, divinity students. I spent a day there. They had great books. It was a lot of fun. At the end of the day, the priest said to me, "You know, there were some more books in the basement. Could you was down there? A closet. It was almost more like a small room. It would have." taken up like this area here. The priest opened the door, front to back, floor to ceiling, top to bottom. It was stuffed with thousands of old Bibles. So what happens when a parishioner dies and the family doesn't want the Bible? They come and they present it to the church. And he says, what do we do? We very graciously accept it. We don't want to offend anybody. And then they go downstairs, open the door, throw it in the church. And he says that they can't drive a dumpster up to the back of the church and fill it full of Bibles. That would just be terrible. So I use it as an example to say that if anybody wants to give something to a charity, ask them if they want it first. If they want it, they can give it They have original oil paintings, posters, and all things. Because he was from Needham. It was one of his first books, but this is a much later, it's like a few school books and uh, forget me not. You, you just put it down on the floor. Um, and I've had people who have five, six, seven hundred different editions of Alice in Wonderland, but this is a later edition. It's a little bit worn. It's five dollars. It's not, it's not valuable. This is a library book. Uh, 